Hello, welcome back. It's Rapid Regeneration. I'm David Escamilla. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not giving any medical advice or claims or making claims about diseases. I'm a regenerative detoxification specialist. And um, this is brought to you by rapidregeneration.com. I'm on a mission to help you um, to solve your health problems. Now you may not, you may think, oh, I don't know if Dave can really help me. I don't know if I can either, but I know this, I helped, I helped me. And I, at a time I thought it was impossible um, that I was gonna be stuck with my health problems for life and instead I, I found this information, I put it into place, I grew my understanding about really what's the truth and how does the body really work and how to get it cleaned out and I did it and I was so amazed by that. I'm now on a mission to help you. It's uh, so important to understand body chemistry and how that works and how that can turn into health problems and how to undo those health problems by controlling the body's chemistry. So it's very common to say, oh, you need to alkalize the body. You need to make it more alkaline. Um, and that's true because so much of the problems that exist are because of over acidity and just this um, just incredible amount of acids that are in the modern world whether it's the chemicals, the artificial chemicals, the pollution, the, the foods and the beverages, the skin products, and all this type of stuff, full of acids. And then people get all acidic, and basically, that's just, uh, that's a recipe for health problems. And you have to understand is, um, Alkaline chemistry is basically the, the, to the degree that the body is alkaline, is to the degree that a, an individual is going to have a high degree of well being. To the degree that someone who's acidic, someone is acidic, it, it's, is to the degree that they're going to have perhaps much health problems. So the, that's it. The balanced, harmonious state of your body is an alkaline dominant state. And by the way, this is just common horse sense, a lot of it. If you look at planet Earth, it's an alkaline dominant planet, the chemistry. This means that it, it has the chemistry where life can grow, it can sustain itself, um, and basically it can create new life. And if you look at other planets, uh, in our solar system that are dominated with acid chemistry, you'll notice that they're completely devoid of life. They're, it's impossible for life to, to live there because acid chemistry is destructive. It breaks down matter. It disintegrates matter. And alkaline, alkaline chemistry allows for growth, sustenance, and development. And you can also see healing and regeneration take place under alkaline conditions. So just a couple quick uh, things to make sure we cover is the, you know, chemistry is on a pH scale. Neutral is seven. Anything below seven is acidic. Anything above a, uh, a seven is alkaline. And of course it's a, it's a, it's a spectrum. So the lower the number, the more acidic, the higher the number, the more alkaline. And so, why does the body need to be alkaline? I mean, it, it, it needs to be to a certain degree to, to stay alive. I mean, look at the blood pH. The blood pH must be at a slightly alkaline level, slightly above seven pH. And basically it has to be in order to exist. If the blood ever became acidic, if it ever dropped below seven, basically it would disintegrate the circulatory uh, veins and arteries within a matter of minutes and you would die. So the blood has to remain alkaline. 
for the whole cardiovascular system to function. Now that's kind of the front line, and but you know the whole body to some degree has to has to have some kind of alkaline factor going on, and you can see this happening. I mean, a great example is again the circulatory system. What happens if the body starts getting super acidic? Is you can see placking of that system. Well. The placking is the body's own intelligence and the lymphatic system's own intelligence to create a lipid-based cholesterol plaque that's gonna protect the tissue against acids. In other words, it's gonna prevent the blood from getting acidified in the veins and the arteries and from disintegrating. It's instead gonna go with option B, which is still not a great option, but it's better than your veins disintegrating from, from acids, it's gonna buffer the acids with cholesterol placking, lipid shield of hardened plaque. That's gonna protect against these acids. Now you have another problem. Now you have this cholesterol plaque and it's like, okay, now what do I do with that? Well, you alkalize the body and, and, and so that eventually this plaque goes away and gets alkalized out and the body gets back into a state of balance. It's not gonna go away if you just keep pouring acids into the body. So you have all these body responses when the body just gets, maintains a high level of acidity. You have water retention where water is basically just swelling up to dilute the acids. You have mucus production um, just people are full of mucus because the mucus, again, it's a protective slime <laughs> and it's going to, it's going to buffer against these acids and it will actually protect the tissue and protect the cells. Now it's not great because now the cells are surrounded by mucus. So that's not really good. How are they supposed to respirate? How are they supposed to eliminate and go to the bathroom if they're just like surrounded by this blanket of mucus? So now you have uh, another problem on your hands, but it's better than having this, that cell completely destroyed or mutated or damaged by getting hit by this acid directly. So, and again, this is also where you can see blobs or, or lumps, you know, or balls that form in the body, which can be, again be these lipid blobs and it encapsulates, it basically encapsulates a, a, a very, very acidic, acidic slurry of material. And it's holding that encapsulated and keeping that from basically shielding the surrounding tissues from these super toxic acids. So this is basically what the body is doing as a response to overly acidic chemistry. So it's either, it's gonna exist in an alkaline state and it's gonna do great. And it's gonna basically be cleaned out, it's gonna function well, and it's gonna heal and repair and, and, and do all the things it's supposed to do in an alkaline state. This is the ideal state. This is the goal. This is all the information in this program is basically to help you get the body in an alkaline, balanced, harmonious state. Option two is Okay, you're going to become super acidic and the acids are just going to ravage your body. It's going to destroy cells, mutate cells, damage cells, uh, disintegrate tissue, and your body's just going to basically fall apart and you're basically just going to die. That's option two. Option three is, well, all these acids are just going to go in the body, but the body is going to react and it's going to defend itself and it's going to protect itself against these acids it's gonna create all these other problems. It's gonna create these cholesterol placking. You're gonna have mucus buildup. Most people have in their gut, they can't even absorb nutrition because their whole gut is lined with, with a mucus, a wall of mucus, in some case hardened mucus throughout their whole gut and throughout their whole body, mucus and hardened mucus and waste. And now the cells can't respirate properly and now everything's stagnated and it's backed up and the lymphatic system gets all backed up and it's not filtering 
and you're going to have water retention. You're going to be all swollen up and, and you're going to be dehydrated and, and you're going to, you're going to even potentially have blobs that form and, and lumps and, you know, and you're going to have cells that are getting damaged and mutated and, and, and basically this is the body reacting to all the acids and not dying and not disintegrating, but it's all these defense mechanisms are causing these other problems. So this is a result of over acidity and this is what happens. And this is why it's so important to understand body chemistry. And this is, this is an amazing tool that can empower you to figure out what to do about it. And now that you know what's happening now, um, basically changing the body's chemistry is not necessarily easy, but it is simple. It's very simple acid versus alkaline. And you know, the body's compass is always set to return to a state of alkalinity, to a state of balance, to a state of harmony via its own self healing process. If you can get out of its way and stop just putting acids into it, honestly. Now I will mention just, it's worth mentioning. There are some extremely rare cases where a body can be too alkaline. Okay. So it is possible to have an excess of alkalinity. Now this is very, very rare. It's worth mentioning, but it's probably not an issue. Um, statistically, this is occurring probably 1% or far less than 1% of the time when an individual is, it can be overly alkaline because maybe they're doing something crazy to put, put stuff in their body or maybe they're using artificial chemistry or whatever compared with all of these issues where 99 plus percent in my view, um, almost the entire amount of these health issues are caused by overly acidic conditions. So a couple last points to understand about over acidity and basically how to, how to handle this problem and basically the solution to it, which is again, it's very straightforward, but just know that this can happen on a delay that problems, the body is very resilient and thank God, and it can put up with a lot of abuse and a lot of toxins and a lot of acids. Just look at planet earth. Look at the resiliency of planet earth with all the pollution and all of the damage that's done to it by humans. And it just keeps going. It's just like, Oh, well, more trees, more plants. Um, it's just, it's just resilient, the life to proliferate and survive. Your body's the same way. It can put up with a lot of damage and everyone's different, but it can take years and even in some cases decades to of having acidic things that are done to it before it finally starts to really experience negative effects that are really actually bothering you. So did you ever notice how some children, they can eat anything, you know, and it never seems to slow them down or anything. And you know, these youngsters, they continue to grow and, and foster their bodies development, you know, even with eating all the junk food. Okay. Then you have people, I'm sure you have friends that are like this. Look at somebody like Keith Richards. Okay. He's the Rolling Stones guitarist. And for numerous decades, he can pour acids into his body, drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, um, just over and over again, well into his forties, fifties, sixties, even seventies. And this individual still has a high degree of energy, happiness, and well, well being. So, I mean, for some people, it just, all the acidity that they're putting in their body, it just doesn't catch up with them until the very end of their lives. And you know what, if that's you, then you're not even listening to this anyways, you, you know, because you don't have this problem. So some people are like that. God bless them. 
you know, if you have if you have amazingly strong genes, strong constitution, um, you could just call that being lucky. Um, I think there's a genetic element, and so that does exist for sure. Um, and you know what? Amazing, amazing. So, and if that's you, God bless you, and um, enjoy, enjoy. Now, most of us, I feel like, are not super lucky. And the acids catch up to us earlier in life. Now, for me, it caught up to me because of an acute incident where I literally poisoned myself accidentally and it happened overnight. But for other people, it can catch up slowly over time and gradually. But it can get to a point where you're like, oh, this is just unbearable. I, I, I need to go back to an alkaline state. Um, so just know that your body has its own innate intelligence to fix itself if you get out of its way. Remember, your body knew what to do. When you came out into this world, I mean, you started off as just a little sperm and an egg and then a little embryo. And then from age zero to age 16, think of how you grew and you developed and your body was just, it was just regenerating itself and, um, and so just know your body has an innate intelligence, uh, but you do have to get out of its way for this to work. Every time you put acidic chemistry in your body, um, it's like an attack. It drains, it drains your body's resources that would other, otherwise be used for healing, growth, and regeneration. So, yes, um, we've covered this already, but you know your acids get filtered out through the lymphatic system and the kidneys, okay, they actually get um, broken down by probiotic bacteria in the lymphatic system. They also get eliminated through the bowels, the lungs, the skin, and if you're a premenopausal woman, through your, your menstrual cycle. And indirectly, acids get filtered out through the liver, which transmutates chemistry, but then it sends it to the kidneys, ultimately, to eliminate. And so basically, the question of how can you alkalize your body chemistry, how can you solve this problem of acidic body chemistry, um, it is simple. I mean, it's not necessarily easy, but you want to get your lymphatic system, your kidneys stimulated and, and filtering. You want to clean out your intestines. You want to clean out your liver. <clears throat> you want to um, you want to do a parasite cleanse of your body and also you should stimulate your endocrine gl gland system of the body and then you know you want to avoid chemicals that are harmful and so you know th those cleanses are, are the best starting point if you go to rapidregeneration.com forward slash total body cleanse you know you want to do the big three then you want to maybe look at some additional supplementation um, you know, of higher level supplementation that you can do. And so this would be one way to really start to control your body's chemistry. Then you want to cut out the worst kind of chemicals that you might be consuming in foods and other products. Cut those out of your life, you know, and also you want to, you want to cut out radiation that's causing um, the body's you know, acidic chemical reactions in the body, you know, that's covered in a later segment. There's so many things you can do, You and, but the main thing after that would be you want to make changes to what you're eating. And I'm sorry to inform you this, but most cooked foods are going to be almost all acid forming, whereas your raw foods, especially your fruits, are going to be more alkaline forming. So I wish I had some better news for you, but there's only a few foods on the planet that are alkaline forming, which is going to be your fruits and some vegetables. And so that's it. That's basically you start to eat more as much of these foods as possible and you're eating less of these cooked acid forming foods as possible, your body starts to gradually become more alkaline. And now again, if your body can become alkaline, 
it can do what it's supposed to do. It can achieve a state of harmony and you're that much more likely to be able to solve your health problem by doing that. So that's how you do it. Now the food input is the hardest one. And you know, you don't have to go cold turkey necessarily to, to do this. I certainly didn't. It took me a few years to, to change what I was eating. You know, although the quicker you can go, yeah, I mean, that's great. Um, but just remember um, that, you know, your body's going to reward you a thousand times over if you can make the commitment to doing, to doing what you should do to control your body's chemistry. Your body's going to be so grateful to you. And it will make it easier than you think to make these choices of being more alkaline. The last thing that I'll say about body chemistry is regarding emotions and the focus of your awareness. And basically, emotions are electrical, they're psychological, they're spiritual, but they're also chemical. You have to understand, you know, the emotions tie into the adrenal system of the body. And you can see that stress, fear, anger, and other low vibration type emotions can create production of cortisol. They literally can create an acidic aftershock in the body or a, a, a stress, um, you know, and basically, then if you look at the other side of the coin, you look at things like love, physical affection, joy, and these are all things that they cause positive sensations. Uh, they cause production of serotonin, endorphins, oxytocin. And I don't know if these chemical reactions are exactly alkaline, but basically it's the principle of that nurturingness. And these are deeply needed as well to promote self-healing from an electrical and a spiritual perspective. And so this is very important to understand is that, yes, the body chemistry needs to be alkaline, but the mind is not on the sidelines. The mind is part of this. And these emotions can be acid forming. And you want to you wanna eliminate those. Even if someone's doing some everything else properly, they're following all these tenets of body cleansing and transitioning their what they're eating. If... Uh, somebody's negative, if they're constantly blaming other people, um, if they can't forgive people, and if they won't take full responsibility for their problems, if they're angry, they're constantly worrying, they're stressing, it's going to be very difficult for this individual to heal and regenerate properly um, if this negativity is just dominating his or her focus or attention. And what happens with people a lot of times that I've personally worked with is that they start healing themselves, they start detoxifying, they start alkalizing the body chemistry, and then they run into a block. And a lot of times this block is an emotional block. And the, the, this person is struggling to let go of something emotionally, psychologically, from an ego standpoint, or spiritually. So if this is you, let it go, let it go and forgive everybody and forgive yourself and take full responsibility and commit and then go to the next level. So that's part of body chemistry as well. That's how it all ties in. Um, and yeah, that's the goal. Uh, basically is return your body to a state of alkaline dominant chemistry. If you can do that, you'll be miles ahead of of everybody. I mean, you'll just be a next level. You'll be superhuman. I mean, you'll be what we're designed to be. Um, and basically your body can, can really do what it's supposed to do. So that's the power of body chemistry, of understanding that and how to deal with that. And really, by the way, understanding what the body's doing and not be mad at the body for reacting to uh, acids. And so go ahead and make yourself alkaline. 
I'm going to cover more detail now that you know, I mean, you already knew this, but now that basically this episode is done about controlling your body's chemistry, I'm going to now cover basically the hardest, the hardest part about controlling your body's chemistry, which is food and understanding what happens with certain foods and how they get digested and basically how to play that game. So I'm going to go through all of that. And you should be very empowered with this knowledge. I mean, this is the most amazing intel. When I found out about it, I was like, man, why didn't, I, why didn't anyone ever teach me this? You know why? Because they didn't know about it. I'm telling you, this is the secrets of the ages. And it's the holy grail. It's the fountain of youth. It's everything. I can't over... Uh, um, exaggerate this because it is truly amazing so if you know somebody who's suffering tell them about body chemistry you know tell them about rapidregeneration.com and um, see if they're open-minded about it and just great job for committing to yourself uh, to keep going so keep it going um, websites rapidregeneration.com if you want to see some powerful tools to balance your body's chemistry. I'm so honored to be delivering this uh, intel from you. I mean, from, from, from the big man's lips to my ears, through my mouth, and to you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, keep it going, and see you on the next segment. For more information, please follow at Rapid Regeneration, or visit RapidRegeneration.com.